Hey hi guys, welcome back. I'm Ravi Malhotra, your instructor for this CCSA RAD.40 series. I welcome you all. Uh, this is lecture number 16 and this is real lab number 8. Uh, this lab is uh, uh, is going to help you in uh, in building the SIG process between security management server and gateway and it is also going to help you in in case during troubleshooting if you need to re-establish SIG between security management and gateway so this is going to help you over that so this is real lab I'm going to show you live on my firewall virtual machines right so just please be uh, focused and attentive guys that's the standard diagram that I'm running throughout all my videos it's very simple uh, one smart center server I have with two NIC cards and I have firewall with three NIC cards my firewall IP address is uh, everything in a hundred as a last octet so it's 200 .100, 70.100 137.100 and my management is under the 50 as a last octet its IP address is 200.50 and 70.50 I'm going to build this connectivity over VMnet 2 over a VLAN of 70 so I'll try to connect to the gateway over an IP address of 70.100 all right um so that's the prerequisite guys uh two prerequisite before you really can understand this video of course the first prerequisite is that the security management server and the security gateway virtual machine must be installed if it is not installed if you do not know how to install that please refer to video number 12 and the other prerequisite is that you must understand the process behind SIC, right? Why, why, why there is a need of SIC between security management server and gateway. So please watch video number 12 and 13 to gain more understanding and to be familiar with all the prerequisites. And now we can move ahead, guys. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to connect to the security management server using the smart dashboard. Uh, okay that I have already connected guys for you my security management server is there it's just a fresh installation guys and that's all uh, let me go back to my diagram uh, that's the security management server I have two IP addresses ETH 0 ETH 1 200.50 and 70.50 let me show you that guys uh, that's my management server okay I'm going to give a command show interface ETH 0 IPv4 address 200.50 show interface ETH 1 IPv4 address 70.50 let me try to ping the VLAN IP address that I have 200.1 it's pingable let me now ping 70.1 it's pingable right let me go back to my gateway that's my gateway guys let me log in admin all right show interface just the interfaces it will tell you all interfaces you have next you need to do show interface ETH 0 IPv4 address it's 200.100 let's now give it ETH 1 it is 137.100 next give ETH 2 it is 70.100 let's try to ping 192.168.200.1 it is pingable and then I'll ping 70.1 it is not pingable all right let us see the reason so it should be able to ping 70.1 let me see the reason why 
So it is. It should be LAN. Okay, let me click on OK now. All right, guys, so now I'm on the gateway and uh, I'm trying to ping 200.1. It's pingable. I'm trying to ping 137.1. It's pingable. I'm trying to ping 70.1. It is pingable. Let me also try to ping. 70.50 from the gateway as it is my management so it's pingable guys so i believe now um, we will be able to do the sick right so let me just move to the agenda now i'm logged in to the security management server this is done create a security gateway object with following properties okay how to create a gateway object? That's very simple. Go to network, go to new, go to more, go to network object, go to gateway and servers, and then click on gateway. Okay. And then you can click the classic mode. It is going to be the traditional dialog box. So I'm going to give a name, you know, checkpoint tech tiger academy gateway already dot 40 let's say that olive color everything in the head office is going to be olive in color 192 168 70.100 let's give some nice commands this is gateway for uh, this for internet traffic in the head office next thing we have to do is the click on the communication tab and we need to give the activation key one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine okay just click on initialize congratulations guys the trust is established and just click on ok that's all so you were able to create the SIG for the first time between security management server and security gateway. So <laughs> clapping for all of you, those who have followed the videos, I'm sure they will also be able to do the same on their virtual environment. Once SIG process is done, uh, uh, it reads the topology and it says that there are four interfaces on the firewall. That's true. We can just click on close and we see that the firewall box is already checked in. So click on OK. Okay. Uh, that's right. Hmm. So let us go back now. It says that break the trust and re establish the sick gain. So now we will go back to gateway. And servers and we'll try to rebuild the sick in order to rebuild the sick just because we know that the sick is whole built uh, using an activation key activation key is like a one-time password so we will have to regenerate an activation key and how to do that it's very simple go to the gateway give the command CP config that's something I'll I'll just do right in front of you so let me go back to the let me go back to gateway and let me see that cp config i'll see secure internal communication that's option number five would you reinitialize the trust yes are you sure yes activation key one two three four five six seven eight nine you can reuse 
the same activation key again okay activation key cannot contain I think I've done something wrong three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and it's done so click on compile okay all right so once this activation key is done so now we know that you know we will be able to rebuild the trust so so, so that's all you again need to go to the gateway object right and you need to do the same process again that's all okay there is there is there is not even anything new that you have to do everything you just need to do exactly same you just need to now give this newly created activation key on the gateway object right so let me just do that right in front of you again i'll go to new i'll go to more i'll go to network objects i'll go to gateway and then servers i'll go to gateway i'll click on classic mode and i'll i'll give a just just give a name gateway gateway one 192 168 70.100 let's say it's colorized it's orange let's keep it olive just to keep everything in head office at your firewall click on communication so yeah i want to continue yes one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine click on initialize so well done so trust is established guys just click on ok and that's all so let me go back to the slide now so so that's what we did uh, we we clicked on the reset uh, we did the cp config command we pressed option number five we did the reinitialization yes and then again we went to the gateway object and we have done the whole process again right so let me click on ok here for you so that's all guys this this lab is done successfully this was lecture number 16 lab number eight uh, i really request uh, you guys to please subscribe to my channel I'm really running short of subscribers guys so please subscribe my channel uh, please um, forward these links to your friends so that they can also take advantage of this learning uh, please like the video leave some comments if you need any kind of clarification you can just leave comments and I'll try to get back to you that's all guys be ready for the next lecture the next lecture is going to be understanding of anti-spoofing all right so that's all guys i want to say you goodbye for this lecture have a wonderful day have a wonderful and beautiful life guys bye